today we'll make an animated AI influencer. Because people are already making tens of thousands of dollars a month with animated AI influencers just like this. But the catch is that most people who try it end up failing. And the reason for that is simple. If your character doesn't actually look and feel real, the whole thing falls apart. So I spent the last couple of months testing out different methods to figure out exactly how to build AI influencers that not only look real, but stay consistent across hundreds of posts. And by the end of this video, you'll have a step-by-step -step process to create your own AI influencer from scratch, keep them consistent, and even turn them into animated clips that look like they were made by a real person. So for this video, I'm going to be using a tool called OpenArt, and I'll leave a link to it down in the description below if you want to follow along. The reason I'm using OpenArt is because it keeps everything in one place, generating images, creating videos, upscaling, even making characters all inside a single tool. That makes it super simple and efficient to use without having to switch between different apps and subscriptions. Now the way we want to create our animated AI influencer is by first making sure we have a consistent image of our influencer. To do that, we'll start by heading over to the image section and creating our initial image. For influencers specifically, I really like using a model called Juggernaut XL. This model gives you the best possible results. Photos that actually look like they were shot professionally with a photogenic high quality style. So to get started, click the switch button, select the juggernaut model, and in the prompt box, just write a simple description of your character. For example, I'm going to write a beautiful blonde girl, natural makeup, casual modern outfit, soft daylight photography, influencer style, aesthetic, full body shot, sharp details, realistic skin structure, cinematic lighting, white background, studio. Now it's really important to include that part about having a wide studio background. The reason for this is so that when we later create a character out of this image, the AI doesn't lock onto the background. So once you've got that set up, just increase the number of images if you want, click create and see what you get back. As you can see, the images turned out looking amazing. I'll grab the best one to use as my base. But now what we want to do is generate a couple of variations to make sure our character stays as consistent as possible across different angles. The easiest way to do that is to switch the model over to Nano Banana, and then in the Omni Reference field, go to your history and select that first generation. Then write prompts like a shot of the same woman turning slightly to the right, or a shot of the same woman turning slightly to the left, maybe even a shot of her turned around slightly from the back. Doing this gives you multiple angles of the same character, which helps train the model and keeps everything consistent later. So I'll go ahead and generate a few variations like that. And now that they're done, the next step is to head over to the character section and choose start with four plus images. The reason we're doing it this way is because it gives us the best possible result for consistency when we start using the character in videos. For the name, I'll just call her Layla. Then I'll upload my images, create the character, and once that's finished generating, you'll see it appear down at the bottom. And now that it's done, I'll access it by just clicking create. And now, as you can see, it opens up a new workflow, but this time our character character is automatically embedded. Her name shows up right there, and from this point on, no matter what images we create, the look stays consistent. This step is really important, because later we'll be using these images as the starting frames for our videos, and having that consistency is what keeps the influencer looking the same across all the content you create. So now let's actually go ahead and generate some images. The first thing you want to do is just write your prompt right here in the prompt section. So for mine, I'm just going Going to write. Layla is sitting at a cozy modern coffee table, holding a coffee cup with latte art, warm natural daylight, candid influencer style photo, soft background. And you'll notice here that I'm not describing my model at all because she's already included into the character. So there's no need to repeat all of that stuff. Then we've got a couple of settings. The first one is prompt adherence, which is basically how strictly the AI will stick to what you wrote. I'll just leave mine at around five. That usually works fine. Then we've got the character settings. There's a toggle here where you can decide if you want the clothes to always stay the same or not. And for this one, I'm just going to deselect it. Then there's the weight, which is basically how consistent the AI keeps your character looking across all the generations. And I usually keep it at about 0.8 or higher. You can play with it if you want, but that's usually the sweet spot. And then finally, I'll just bump up the number of images because I want a few different options to pick from and and then I'll hit generate.
generate. And as you can see, the results came back looking really nice. It's literally our exact character sitting at a cafe. She looks happy and natural. That's perfect. Now let's go ahead and turn this into a video. So for that, you wanna head over to the video section and go into the image to video part. And here you'll want to pick your model. And for realism, I'd say Google VO3 is the one to go for. It's the most realistic one by far. So I'll select that, then I'll go over to history and just pick the photo I liked the most. And write this prompt. Using the reference image, animate her lifting the coffee cup slowly, taking a small sip, then looking out the window with a soft smile. Steam rises from the cup, light reflections shift on the window, and people blur by in the background to add life. Now we can set a couple of quick options. I'm going to leave the audio on because that adds a nice bit of immersion, and then I'll set the resolution to the highest available. And for the video mode, I'll keep it on normal because that one gives you the best quality. And now we can just hit create. And the video that comes out looks really, really good. Very realistic. The model looks great. The movement feels smooth. And honestly, I could easily see this being part of someone's Instagram carousel. That came out super well. Now let's try something more advanced where we actually put her into a different environment. So for this one, I'm going to write Layla on a treadmill at a gym, sporty leggings and a crop top outfit, holding a water bottle, bright fitness studio lighting, influencer workout snapshot. I'll keep most of the settings the same, but I'll push the prompt adherence up a little bit just to make sure it sticks closely to the description. Then I'll hit generate and the image looks really nice. You can see how well the environment looks behind her and the clothes are added perfectly without changing the influencer's face. I can totally see this being turned into a fun video. So again, I'll grab that image, go back to video generation, and this time I'll write a more detailed prompt. A fit young woman jogs lightly on a treadmill. She carries a pink water bottle in one hand, which shakes slightly as she runs. Her face remains clear, realistic, and consistently detailed with natural expressions and smooth motion. Her loose blonde hair bounces naturally with her movement, and she occasionally brushes it back with her free hand. The treadmill belt moves steadily beneath her feet, while other gym goers are blurred in the background, emphasizing her focus and energy. And once again, the result comes out perfect. This one looks like it could be a quick story post, like your AI influencer just finished a workout at the gym. That's really cool. And finally, let's do something seasonal, a Halloween themed post. So I'll go back to image generation and write, Layla in a playful Halloween costume as a witch, standing outside at night with glowing pumpkins, cinematic lighting, festive influencer portrait. I'll generate a few variations and honestly, they all look really good. I'll pick this one, it looks the most authentic. Her costume really looks natural and the way she still stays consistent is really cool. Now let's animate it. So I'll write, animate her adjusting her witch hat, then waving at the camera while candlelight from the pumpkins flickers and soft mist drifts naturally in the background, creating a cinematic Halloween atmosphere. And the video comes out really, really nice. It's totally different from the earlier ones, but the character still looks exactly the same, which really keeps the immersion. So now you know how to create consistent animated AI influencers, from building the character to turning that into videos. And the cool thing is you can do so much with this. You can post short form videos, you can grow a following on Instagram or TikTok, you can use it for branded posts, or even start building out a whole personality that you could monetize. There are so many different ways to take this, whether it's making money, building an audience, or just creating content that really stands out. And the best part is we did all of it inside open art. You didn't have to jump between five different tools, you didn't need a bunch of subscriptions, and you didn't have to sit there messing around with complicated prompts every time. Open art just has everything you need to make a consistent AI influencer right there. So if you want to start creating professional looking AI influencers, just like the one we made today, go sign up for open art using my link down in the description below. And I'll see you in the next one.